Hey Taurus, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How is everybody doing? I just want to make this absolutely crystal clear. This is not your first of the month reading. This is just a weird middle of the night kind of thing. Um, I woke up at 3, which happens a lot. Usually I can go back to sleep, but I woke up at 3 and I tossed and I turned and all the crazy 3 a.m. thoughts are going through my head. And um, I couldn't go back to sleep, but I got some coffee and wandered around for a second. And then I thought, you know, <clears throat> I think there's a message here that somebody needs to hear. So I sat down at my table and I pulled some cards for Taurus. Um, I don't know if this is going to resonate with a lot of people, but somebody needs to hear this, right? So this is uh, the message, the 3 a.m. message that I pulled for Taurus. Um, it's, you know, it's early here, so I'm keeping it down. So um, don't mind my, my low pitch and everything. And we're doing this old school, right? Because <laughs> it's 3 a.m. and y'all really don't want to see me on video at 3 a.m., right? All right. So this is how this is shaking down. First of all, I want to point out, it's a, it's a spoiler alert, okay? A spoiler alert. The Ace of Discs is in the center of your reading. There is some kind of, of new opportunity that is on the table for you. This new opportunity has to do with your security. Somehow, some way, it has to do with your security. And uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the answer is no. So now we're going to work through all of these cards and find out why this entire reading revolves around you saying no to a new opportunity that's being presented to you, okay? All right. So we open up this reading with the Three of Discs, the Works card, right? In the Thoth deck, this Three of Discs is about the material establishment of an idea, right? To the Knight of Wands, some inspired action, right? Some inspired action being taken to, to, to materialize an idea. And if you'll notice this Knight of Wands, right? He's coming in to the reading, right? He's not going out of the reading. He's coming into the reading. I mean, over here, it looks like he's going out of the reading, but really he's coming into the reading, right? So what this tells me is that there is some kind of inspiring message that's coming into you about establishing um, some kind some kind of an idea, right? Some Something, right? So there's some, um, some kind of communication coming into you, inspired action coming into you about um, about an establishment of uh, the material establishment of an idea. The Ace of Wands comes in. This Ace of Wands is talking to us about, you know, inspiration, power, creation, right? The creation of an inspired beginning, right? To the Wheel of Fortune that has the potential to change your destiny one way or another, right? What is this? What is this whole thing right here? Well, whatever this is, you're not really, really sure about it with the Queen of Cups in reverse. There is some emotional insecurity that doesn't sit right with you. Something doesn't sit right with you about this offer that's coming in, right? It just something doesn't sit right. The, the Empress, the, I almost called her the Queen, the Empress in reverse. This is about, hmm, this is about, Dependence on others or a creative block. Dependence on others, creative block, emotional. See, the Queen of Cups in reverse, she's emotional dependency too. The Empress in reverse is dependence on others. But the Queen of Cups in reverse is emotional insecurity. The Empress in reverse is also a creative block. A creative block to the page of cups in reverse talking to us about um, emotional immaturity I see I see what's going on here I see what's going on here so the reason that you're not that this offer isn't sitting well with you with the Queen of Cups in reverse, the reason this offer isn't sitting well with you 
is because is because of codependency somebody wants something from you they're coming to you in a way they're 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 perpetrating good intentions but really what they want is to feed off of you with the empress in reverse i know that sounds gross but it's about dependence on others you have something that whomever this is that's bringing in this 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 offer of the ace of discs right whoever this is that's bringing it into you they they need something that you have right now this offer could very it could very well be absolutely sincere and maybe this other party person place thing maybe this other party doesn't even realize um why why they want to why they want to work on something why they want to establish this ace of discs right this 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 new opportunity but they need something from you and see your intuition with the queen of cups in reverse because the queen of cups is super intuitive right but in reverse she is emotional insecurity and also emotional codependence and that's why it's not sitting right with you because your intuition is telling you that there's more than what meets the eye here there's more than what meets the eye there is you can tell you can just feel it that this person has ulterior motives that's i think the best way to describe it this person has ulterior motives and you know it you feel it it hasn't been spoken it hasn't been shown but you feel it right and because you feel it you are putting up the page of cups right this is about a creative block you are immediately self-defensive in protecting yourself on the inside though right you're not you're not being confrontational or anything like that but you're just watching the whole thing from the inside out and you are um your intuition is kicking in and and you can smell you can smell something just isn't right in this situation right and look at that death comes in an ending a change a transformation right what this is telling me is that because you smell a rat in your intuition you are not going to go forward with this whole situation hence the queen of swords in reverse on top of the ace of discs right this is an ending a change a transformation it's also i think what this knight of wands wants here they want a transformation of the situation but Taurus is like no man I'm just it just doesn't sit right with me just doesn't sit right with me there's something that's just not on point about this whole situation right to the tower this is an epiphany this is a revelation an awakening hence your intuition right hence your intuition knowing that there's just not something right about this situation this is an awakening okay this is i want to point out right look at these major arcana we have flying around up here look at this we have the empress in reverse we have death the tower the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune okay this is like a major major turning point in your life this is um i can't stress this enough the decision that you make and perhaps why this is why i woke up and i couldn't sleep and all i could think about was sitting down and doing this reading there is something pivotal major that is on the table for at least one of you out there something major that's on the table that if you make the wrong decision it is going to change the rest of your life okay that's what this tower moment is right here and the death card this is spirit this is spirit bringing to you an internal intuitive understanding of what's happening so those of you who are approaching 
this reading, right, in, in your physical world, those of you who are coming into this, be very, very in tune with your intuition, okay? Be very, very cognizant of that check that you feel in your gut because this decision is literally life-altering, okay? Either way you go, it's life-altering. And these cards are encouraging you to follow. Follow your gut. Follow your gut feelings, right? Right? The Empress in Reverse is saying that, that there is some kind of dependency. This person right here, they need something from you. And I, I kind of feel like it's more, I kind of feel like it's something like deep, like, 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 like an energy. They need what you have, Taurus, and they've been without it for a minute, and they're coming in to try to take it from you. It's almost like this person is depleted in their own energetic resources, and they're feeling tired, and they're feeling worn out. And and they say to themselves, you know what? Taurus has it. Taurus has what I need. I need to feed off of Taurus. I know that sounds weird, but that's just what I'm getting right here, right? It's like they it's like they want to they want to suck your energy because you're so awesome and you're so enlightened and you're so um, you're such a beautiful person, right? And they need what you have because they can't create it for themselves. That's what this is. That's what this is. Whatever's going on here, this person who's bringing in this this inspired message, this who, this person who's taking inspired action, right, to bring to manifest some kind of material idea, right? They, they cannot produce what it is that they need on their own. So they're coming to Taurus to, 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 to pillage. They're coming to Taurus to get what they cannot create. You know, whoever this is, family, work, lover, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who it is, right? If, if you, if, if, if whoever it is you're thinking about, that's probably who this reading is about, right? All right. So Taurus in their intuition puts the brakes on it, puts a creative block on it, right? You're like, psh, psh, psh. you're, you're not having any of it, right? As a matter of fact, they want a transformation and Taurus is like, no. This is going to end. I'm not going to go forward with this. Not, it's not going to happen. The tower comes in and talks about a revelation, right? A, an awakening, a revelation, an awakening. That is, my friend, a turning point in your destiny. It absolutely, positively is a turning point in your destiny. What these cards are telling me is that this... This, this Ace of Discs, this Knight of Wands that's coming in, that's taking inspired action to, to manifest a new opportunity with you, um, is not in your best interest, Taurus. It's, it's not. It's not in your best interest. And the Major Arcana are showing themselves so strongly in this first pocket of cards that, that this, this is a life altering decision right here life altering decision turning point in your destiny to the wheel of fortune a, a turning point in your destiny i mean this is just massive right the three of wands in this deck is called virtue virtue is a card about conforming to a standard of right and wrong, conforming to a standard of morality. And that's what you see what's going on here. This is what your intuition is talking to you about so strongly in this first set of cards that we spent so much time on, right? Your intuition is telling you something is wrong with this situation. Somebody has ulterior motives. Somebody is not being forthcoming about what it is that they really want, right? To sorrow, the three of swords. Sorrow, clarified by 
the three of swords, sorrow, grief, right? Sorrow. That's what, that's what this opportunity will bring you, Taurus. It will bring you sorrow. That's why spirit is trying so hard to guide you away from this. That's why you have the check in your intuition. Because what's really on the board is sorrow, heartbreak, pain, grief, rejection of some sort, right? The devil. This is not good for you. It's not good for you. This offer right here is being offered to you by the devil. It is something that is being offered to you that is going to trip you up and ruin ruin all of the progress that you've made in your life it is meant it is meant to bring you down taurus it's meant to bring you down does this does this knight of wands right here does he does he intentionally or she it intentionally intend to bring you down no i don't think so i don't think their intentions are to bring you down i think their intentions are pure but the cold, hard facts of the situation is that something is not right. Something is not right. And Source is urging you, strongly urging you, and possibly intervening in ways I can't even begin to describe right here to keep you from making this mistake. And some of you are going to do it anyway right? But that's, I think, what this reading is about right here. This is a warning reading. Really? Wow, maybe that's why I woke up at three. It's a warning reading, Taurus. This person is the devil. Whatever they're offering you, this ace of discs right here, whatever they're offering you is, in the long run, not in your best interest. It's something that is toxic to your life. Perhaps this is the classic definition of this card. An attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. I think that's it. It's an attachment that's a restriction to your personal growth because this person's going to, or this, this offer right here, is going to suck the life out of you. I mean, like literally, they're going to suck the life out of you. And that's what you feel in your intuition. And that's why these major arcana are telling you to end it with the death card, right? Open your eyes. Open your eyes to what is being offered here, right? Because if you, if you open your eyes, you can divert this tower moment. If you, if you blindly go into this because you're not paying attention to your intuition, the universe is going to create a tower moment for you, okay? And you don't want that. <laughs> you don't. Not in this case, you don't. This is not a rainbows and unicorn kind of tower moment. This is a tower moment because what's at stake, Taurus, is your future, your future. Yeah, I mean, your, your, your literal destiny is what is at stake here. And Spirit is saying that they have something so much more important for you to do. And you are going to be tripped up and tempted by this devil card, by this, by this, by this opportunity, by this message that's coming into you. This message that's coming into you is not in your best interest. Three of Wands, virtue, taking the moral high ground, making a decision with your best interest at heart. Because really what's on the table is sorrow, heartbreak, pain, grief. Because it's being offered by the devil himself. Eight of Wands in reverse says, hold off. Hold off. To the lover's card, making a choice. This card is about love, harmony, relationships, values alignment, choices. Could it be a love relationship? Sure. But it's also simply about choices. Hold off making this choice. Hold off making this choice. To the Knight of Cups. 
this Knight of Cups, yeah, everybody says knight in shining armor and all that, blah, blah, blah. The real definition of the Knight of Cups is someone who is in proper touch with their emotions and their intuition, and they are ready to share. And look, it's clarified by the Ace of Swords. Okay, so what this is saying is this goes right back, exactly right back to your intuition over here. To your intuition, right? Right? Because you are in touch with your emotions. You are in touch with your emotions. You are in touch with your intuition, right? It makes it easy to, to make a choice because you have absolute mental clarity about what this situation is. And this choice is about, this offer, this choice is about forming some kind of significant relationship. Luxury. The Four of Cups in this deck. This is a card about something that adds pleasure or comfort to your life, but it's not necessary, right? It's not necessary. Hence, the devil back here, right? It adds pleasure and comfort, but it's not necessary. The King of Swords. This is you understanding this. This is you, again, being in touch with your intuition, being in touch with your emotions, understanding fully, wholeheartedly, that, yeah, this would be nice to have, but it's a stumbling block. It's a stumbling block for my future. It's a stumbling block in the way which I have been progressing. The Ten of Swords in reverse. An, an inevitable end. That's what this is, right? It's, 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 you must bring this to an end, Taurus. Whatever this is, you absolutely must bring it to an end. Your entire destiny is at stake right here. You must bring it to an end. Temperance comes in and talks about, talks about understanding, talks about having balance and understanding that this is not your purpose. This is not your purpose. The Three of Cups in reverse comes on top of this, talks about stifled creativity, right? If you are to engage in this Ace of Pentacles offer that's on the table, it's going to stifle. It's, it is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. It's a stumbling block. And it's going to stifle the creation of your future. Because with all of these major arcana, two wheel of fortune, back to back, the tower, the death, the empress, um, this is a big deal. This is huge. And your future is at stake. The queen of cups. This is you knowing that you know that you know. This is your intuition being confirmed one, two, three, four, five times. It's your intuition being confirmed five times in this reading. Follow your intuition. The world in reverse. This is dual purpose, right? This offer is, is, some, is seeking some kind of shortcut. They're trying to circumvent something, and they're trying to, to suck it out of the Taurus, right? They're trying to, it's just not honest. It's just not honest and, and upright. It's just not. The world is about a personal closure as well, which is where the Queen of Cups comes in, right? Knowing that you know that you know. Being completely and totally in a state of emotional balance and control. Feeling very, very emotionally secure that you are, that, that your intuition is on point, right? Personal closure, 
right? Coming in and coming to terms with this whole thing and closing it out. To the Seven of Cups in reverse. Was it a temptation? Yeah, it's the freaking devil. It was a temptation. Yes. Yes, it was a temptation. But you have overcome this temptation. How do I know this? Because the Ace of Discs, the Ace of Pentacles in the center of your reading, the manifestation of a new opportunity is answered with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Not only no, but hell no. That's what that Queen of Swords in reverse is saying. Not only no, but hell no. I see through this whole thing. I know exactly what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here, but this is you, right? You know what's going on here, right? This is different for everybody. This is, this, this is definitely the material for a personal reading, right? Because if this was a personal reading, we'd be able to understand what exactly this is and what exactly this is about. But but not only no, but hell no, because you understand exactly what's happening, right? The hangman. Took you a minute, though. It took you a minute. Processing. Contemplating. Coming out on the other side with a new perspective to the moon. Struggling with your subconscious mind. Trying to get to the bottom of secrets. Right? Fear, anxiety, illusion. All of that you're processing in the hangman energy. Cruelty. The nine of swords. Depression, nightmares, intense anxiety despair, painful lessons. To the Three of Wands in reverse. This Three of Wands in reverse talks about delays, obstacles to your long-term goals, right? Obstacles to your long-term goals. The Knight of Pentacles, assessing your future, assessing the landscape of your future. And after a good long minute of intense anxiety in the hangman energy, struggling with your subconscious mind, trying to wrap your brain, your feelings, your emotions, your whole everything around what this devil has on offer, you come to the conclusion that this would be delays to your long-term goals. The Knight of Pentacles being your long-term goals. Assessing the, the landscape of your future and deciding unequivocally that this is not in your best interest. Judgment comes in. Talks about an absolute rebirth. This talks about a decision that affects the rest of your life. Hence, turning points in your destiny. This is a decision that is going to change your entire life. And it's not a decision of choice. It's a decision of necessity because it's a major arcana. I mean, my God, look at all these major arcana. We're going to go and we're going to count these at the end of the reading. This is like a profound message for somebody out there. Somebody is struggling or will be faced with struggling with this. And you need to know that your entire future hinges on the decision that you make in this particular moment of your life. Massive decision to the Ace of Swords because of truth. Truth that was revealed to you in the tower, right? Truth that was revealed to you in your intuition. Mental clarity to the hermit, right? Soul searching, introspection, right? We can actually just go ahead and put this up here because it all goes together. Some mental clarity comes to you in the hangman, right? Processing in the moon. 
massive decision, life-altering decision, is your truth with the Ace of Swords. It is your truth. The Hermit energy says soul-searching and introspection. The, I mean, this was not an easy kind of thing for you. Okay, it wasn't easy. We got, I mean, look at these cards. Good grief, right? Good grief. We have the hangman, the nine of swords, the moon, right? The moon, obstacles to your long-term goals, your future. Massive decision with the judgment card. Massive clarity with the ace of swords. The hermit, soul-searching, introspection, and seeking some inner guidance. What is the result of all of this? The star card, right? What's the star about? Hope, faith, purpose, renewal. The star card is about purpose right here. You come to terms with the fact that this offer is not in your best interest. Absolutely not in your best interest. To the king of cups in reverse. This is about emotional manipulation, right? Emotional manipulation. You knew, you knew something wasn't right about this whole thing. And now it's absolutely confirmed to you after a good long minute of cooking it in your brain <laughs> that this is not in your best interest. Emotional volatility as well. The Princess of Discs. Princess of Discs. This new offer that's on the table. This Ace of Wands offer. This Knight of Wands offer. This Devil offer. This Ace of Discs offer. This offer that's on the table. The Princess of Discs to manifest. To the Magician in Reverse. Straight up manipulation. Straight up manipulation. It's coming from the devil for God's sakes. It's straight up manipulation. To the Queen of Pentacles. It, this offer threatens your personal security. Now I don't know if you came to that conclusion here, but these cards are telling you that this offer threatens your personal security. You are being manipulated somehow, some way with the magician in reverse. The master manipulator. You are being manipulated by a devil energy. And your 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 very your 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 personal security with the Queen of Pentacles is in jeopardy. Or will be in jeopardy. That's what's on, I guess that's what's on what's on the line here, right? That's why it's so important. That's why we have the wheel of fortune and death and the tower right here. That's why it's so important. It's the very it's the queen of pentacles here. This is representing Taurus, right? This queen of pentacles, she she is grounded and careful, vigilant, uses common sense. She's the epitome of security, right? And this offer, you're being manipulated with this offer. Some kind of emotional manipulation is going on here. And your very security is at stake. To the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is spiritual poverty. Spiritual poverty. Because what's being perpetrated is the manifestation of a passionate, inspired new beginning. What's being perpetrated is the manifestation of a brand new opportunity. But what's really happening, what's really happening is that this opportunity is in fact rooted in the devil. And you know it in your intuition. Don't ignore your intuition. What's really on the table is sorrow and cruelty. What's really on the table is spiritual poverty. That's what's really on the table. 
Taurus comes in with the Ten of Discs and the Ace of Wands. Taurus in this pocket right here has made the absolute, absolute decision to not go forward with this opportunity. At least you're being encouraged not to go forward with this opportunity. The Ten of Discs representing wealth, family, establishment, your future, reward by the universe, completion to the Ace of Wands. This Ace of Wands, same Ace of Wands, the same, it's not the same, this Ace of Wands is different. This Ace of Wands is your own Ace of Wands. This is Taurus saying thanks but no thanks i'm better off without you and i am going to uh create my own my, my my own inspired beginning in my life i am going to create for myself i don't need what it is that you're offering as a matter of fact not only do i not need it but i don't trust you i don't trust the situation and my intuition says to run like a rabbit. Run. Lust. This is kind of equivalent to, to justice in a way. In a way. Okay? And it's clarified. Okay, so justice to the Six of Swords. Regretful. But necessary transition because after much reflection and assessment, it's not worth investing in. Eight of Cups says walking away to the Ten of Cups in reverse because there is a severe misalignment of values in this situation. A severe misalignment of values. Prince of Swords, Taurus is taking some action to the Four of Wands to create, to put this whole situation to bed and create their own stability, their own structure, their own harmony in their life. This could also be saying because of the action that Taurus took, harmony is restored to your life, harmony is brought into your life, security and foundation is the reward of listening to your intuition. Ten of Swords, ruin. That's also what's on the table, right? Cruelty, ruin. <laughs> I mean, the devil. I mean, come on. Ten of Swords, putting it to an end. Killing it, ending it. To the Prince of Cups. Your feelings, your emotions, being in touch with your feelings and your emotions. To the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, lack of ambition or focus. Your intuition is telling you not to do this. Abundance is what comes to you. Abundance with the Three of Cups. Fulfillment. Fulfillment. To the Hierophant in reverse. This is your personal belief system, right? All of this has forced you to reevaluate your personal belief system. This card is also about freedom, right? Freedom. So you've reevaluated your personal belief system and now you have freedom. You have freedom. Look, death. Nothing brings freedom like death. An absolute ending, absolute ending to the whole situation. Not just an ending, but a transformation for you as well, Taurus. A transformation into back-to-back -back wheel of fortunes, turning points in your destiny, Taurus. Massive turning points in your destiny. To the Five of Cups in reverse. Moving on. Accepting understanding, and just simply moving on from the situation. 
If this is something that you're struggling with, if this is something that is um, approaching you, if this happens for you in the next couple days or whatever, a couple weeks, um, the summary is, is that whatever this is, is not good for you. It's not in your best interest. It is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. It is a stumbling block for you. Your entire destiny is on the line here, Taurus. Your entire future is on the line. And Source says that if you don't recognize it and understand it, they're going to step in. And, and I, I mean, you know, this tower, the tower, it's just, I mean, chaos, right? Chaos is what is on the table. You can use this tower energy one of two ways. This is either going to be a major, massive awakening for you, or you will allow chaos into your life. This Knight of Wands is bringing this tower. This Knight of Wands is bringing chaos. This Knight of Wands is bringing chaos because it is the devil. It is a stumbling block in your path. An absolute stumbling block for you, Taurus. And your destiny is at stake. Your future is at stake. Really, really consider what's on offer for you and your personal situation. And these cards are telling you, these cards are telling you to run. Run like a scared rabbit. Put an end to this once and for all. And run. Run. All right, Taurus. Okay, well, hey, I hope that helps somebody. And I and I, I feel relieved now. I feel I'm actually really tired. I think I might go back to bed. <laughs> but um, I think that's what needed to be said. I think that's what disturbed my sleep. Um, anyway, I, I hope that that helped somebody. And like I said at the beginning, this is not your um, November monthly reading, okay? This is just a little little bonus thing for somebody that needed to hear this, okay? I think I might call this, uh, I might label this, <laughs> this video, run. <laughs> run, Taurus, run. <laughs> All right, Taurus, I hope that helps somebody. Namaste, my friends. Taurus, Taurus, I almost forgot. Let's go through this major arcana. Let me turn some lights on. Let's go through this major arcana real quick. I almost forgot. I actually closed out this reading and got back in bed, and I thought, oh, man, it's just so important. We have to go through this, okay? So let's do the major arcana in order, okay? So the first one we have is the Empress, the Empress in reverse, and then we have Death, the Tower, and the wheel. Okay? Then we have the wheel again. The devil. The lovers. Temperance. The world, the hangman, the moon, judgment, the hermit, the star. The magician, Lust, the Hierophant, and Death. Okay, let's talk about these. Let's talk about these. Let's talk about these. Okay. First one out. The Empress in Reverse. This is dependence on others. Death. End it. 
the tower. If you don't, chaos will ensue in your life. It's a turning point in your destiny. Reiterated by a turning point in your destiny. It is toxic. It is a stumbling block. It is meant to, to trip you up. Taurus, there are malefic male maleficent forces out there um, just as much as there is good and love and light. And this is meant to trip you up. The lovers, your choice, your choice, temperance, understand what this means. The world in reverse, close it out. The hangman, think good and long and hard. The moon, search your subconscious mind, your intuition, judgment, make a decision, life-altering decision, soul-searching and introspection results in the acknowledgement and the understanding that this is not your purpose. You are being manipulated with the magician in reverse, lust, judgment, Use discernment. What are your personal beliefs? Reevaluate what you believe about this whole situation and get freedom to bring it to an end, to end it all. And when you do this, this opens up the door for a personal transformation. I mean, my God, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 major arcana in your reading. 18 major arcana. 18, let's break it down. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 is fruition, right? It's fruition. It's completion, conclusion, fulfillment. Nine major arcana, I'm sorry, 18 major arcana, breaking down to a nine. Conclude this. It's a conclusion. Bring it to an end. The death card twice. Bring it to an end. Conclude this chapter of your life, Taurus. Turn the page and write a new story. All right, there you go. That is your reading, my friends. Namaste.